Hey guys, Chaz here from Puglisi Speed Shop, and we mentioned something last video, right? That uh, I did something not that smart, and uh, we were going to talk about it on an upcoming tech tip, and uh, what better time than now? So, here's your Tuesday morning tech tip from Puglisi Speed Shop. So I'm sure you guys have realized by now that a lot of these tech tips aren't actually tech tips, right? They're lessons I've learned in my travels with, uh, well, like, you know, cars and SUVs, trucks, motorcycles, all that kind of stuff. Because, well, I mean, that's what I've been messing with for, I don't know, 30 some odd years, right? Maybe longer. I, that's what I do in most of my spare time. I'm not a video game guy. I'm not, uh, I'm not really in that kind of stuff or anything like that. So this is, this is what I do to relax. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I'm not the only guy that does it. So either we're all crazy or it makes sense or whatever. Right. But, uh, so this, this lesson has nothing to do with this guy, even though that's what we were working on last weekend. Uh, it has to do actually with the recreational activity. Something else we do for fun, right? Um, riding motorcycles. So uh, had the old road glide out, right? We were doing the blessing of the bikes over there at the VFW. And uh, well, let's, let's just say that father might have been a little bit late for me. <laughs> and I don't, yeah, I don't mean that like in a spiritual way or nothing. What I mean was I, uh, well, guys, no other way to say it. I threw this guy on the ground. Literally, that's what I did. Um, now, there were events that led up to that, which were caused by me, but uh, that's what I did. And um, it was a spur of the moment thing, guys. You know, like, you know, no time like the present. That's, uh, oh, that's kind of what I was thinking last weekend. So as you guys know, I got three Harleys here, right? And uh, I realized I'm very fortunate to have that. I got the 74 shovel head I've had forever that we may get off of this lift one day. I've got the uh, 91 FXR. She's, she's sleeping right now. Actually, it's for, we left a cover for when we were sanding. I figured it's pollen season. We'll leave it uh, until we start messing with it. You'll see some stuff coming up on that. But this is what we're here to talk about. My 2019 Rogue Glide Special. See, she's got that, I think it's industrial gray denim is what they call it. I think so. I love it. Absolutely love this bike. I wanted this thing forever. Finally went and bought it a couple years ago. I think it was five, five years ago, whatever it was. Uh, damn fine birthday present for myself, if, you, if I do say so myself. Um, I love the color, mainly. Guys, you guys, it's no surprise. I love primer. <laughs> so, but it doesn't show dirt. I haven't washed this thing since last summer. And, uh, well, now that, you, now that I told you, you could probably see the dirt, but whatever. This side... It's still beautiful. So is the other side, for the record. But I'll, I'll back her up a little bit so we can get to the other side. I'll show you the little bit of scuffs. What is that Roscoe P. Cole train? Scuff my vehicle. And, uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. So, as you guys can see, well, the lights are flashing. That's that alarm thing because I moved it without the key around it. Doesn't look terrible, right? To the untrained eye, you might not even know that this side was on the pavement. But, we'll get a little closer. So that, you know, that's not from the factory like that. There's that. And uh, down there. This is all fine. This right here, <laughs> this should be ding, so I can get my foot on it, right? Uh, this little guy right here did his job. I tore this up. Wow, that was loud, huh? And uh, just scuffed out of that. That's a little scuff it up there. And, uh, you know, the end of this guy. And that grip. So it's not terrible, right? Um, 
Some guys I know wouldn't even care. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not one of those guys. So I'll start by telling you guys a story. Actually, I'll do you one better. I'll start by showing you the short I put up right after it happened, uh, and then I'll elaborate on that. All right, yo, so you might be wondering, how did that happen? How did that get banned? How did that happen? How did this happen? Well, I'll tell you, when you want to do some dumb things, and you say, hey, let's do a burnout. You can see where it started. You can see where it gripped. And uh, you can see where it turned and grabbed me and started to throw me right at this brand new vet. This is where my kickstand was and everything scraped as I threw it on the ground to miss everything. And uh, luckily, the bike was just a little bit hurt. Well, that and, uh, you know, my pride. So now that you saw that, um, I was hoping that the surveillance videos at the VFW would have gotten the whole thing. But uh, some of the guys were a little upset with me because right where I started the burnout is where the cameras cut off and apparently they don't pick up again until the front of the building. So uh, I probably shouldn't tell you that's probably some kind of security breach, but uh, actually we're fixing that now. Uh, they're adding new stuff and maybe if I would have waited a week, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, that would have uh, been able to be seen. And guys, it never fails. All my buddies were standing right there. Nobody had a phone out to record it. And the reason is, Nobody had any idea that I was going to do that, right? Um, I don't even know why I did. So it's one of those things, you know, you see those like memes or whatever, like nobody, me, yeah, nobody. Nobody said it did anything. I just said, this is a wonderful idea. And I, I pulled out, and guys, for the, for the record, it's not the first burnout I've done, not the first rolling burnout, burnout none of that stuff, right? So just goes to show you, I mean, I've been doing the ride motorcycle since 1999. Right, um, I've been down a couple times before. It, that's what happens. Um, usually, because I was a dumb young kid, and I guess there's still a little bit of that inside me. Because again, this one was my fault. Right, so I um, pulled out there, straightened up, and I was going. I don't know, a couple miles an hour. Also, for the record, I thought I was in a more controlled environment. I didn't realize those cars were over there. I mean, I, I should have, but I didn't think it was going to be. I, I knew they were there. I just didn't think it was going to be a problem. All the motorcycles that you saw in the video were over to the left. They weren't there. So I had nothing but room. And I still managed to screw this up, right? But, uh, I, I guys, it's not a secret how you do a burnout. You know, you get the RPM up, right? So that's what I did. And, uh. I felt the back end of that bike squat and start going sideways, which I expected. Um, and I leaned to steer out of it a little bit, right? And it just, uh, it put a lot more power than to go this way than correction I put in to go back this way. And by the time I realized that, it was really sideways. Um, now at that point, I realized I can, yeah, I can grab the clutch, stop the tire from spinning, but I was already sideways, momentum, I'm high siding that bike, right? Every time that's what's gonna happen. So I'm trying to still ride it out to get it over. Well, about that time, I must have let off of the throttle a little bit because wheel speed caught up and it, it kind of grabbed. And now I'm facing a brand new Corvette, right? And this is where they kind of went slow motion for me. I said to myself, I don't want to buy that Corvette. And I know Jerry did not want me to buy it either. He's only had it, I mean, a week, a couple of weeks, whatever it was. So um, I, lean, I, I, I leaned as hard as I could to turn away from it. And uh, now I was facing Joe's F-150, um, which I don't want to buy that one either, guys, right? And I realized that if I just push a little bit harder, I'm not going to hit anything, and I just got to worry about fixing my own crap. So uh, I did. I leaned into it further, 
I felt the kickstand grab and I just kept pushing and uh, basically threw the motorcycle on the ground. I knew I was way far over, but I also knew my stuff was getting damaged at this point. Most responsible thing I can do in the middle of this irresponsible decision would be not to damage somebody else's stuff. And uh, that's luckily that's what happened um, when it, it grabbed. There's no question about that. And I got launched off the bike and I did a roll. I thought it was a pretty good landing. Um, but as Kevin mentioned, anytime you're saying the word landing um, in a conversation about motorcycles, it's probably not good. So all the guys came over, made sure I was okay. Um, my pride was hurt, but other than that, it was fine. Um, helped me get the bike up. I drove back around the corner. And guys, for the record, we weren't even going anywhere. Like me and old Wade were going to go over to Harbor Freight and maybe get something to eat. And he just got around the corner and heard the ruckus, came back, what the hell are you doing? I said, yeah, I'm going to wait here, guys. I'm going to wait right here. And, uh, and that's what I did. You know, we had the event. Everything went well. The next morning, I was a little sore. Um, apparently, I learned a lesson. Getting tossed off a motorcycle at 22 is considerably different um, than 47, especially when you're probably carrying about no, 40 or 50 pounds more than you were at 22. So just food for thought, guys. We're going to run that through your brain before you decide to do things thinking you're still 22. All right. Um, so as you saw, it's not terrible. Bike is more than fixable. However, Harley parts are not cheap. So there's that. But, uh, well, they always say you want to play, you got to pay. There, there it is. Um, I mentioned there's people that would not care. My buddy Jason, um, he does like the motorcycle rodeos and like the, the, the police, like if you've seen the, the guy, I mean, I'll, I'll throw, well, the kid will throw a clip up here in case I don't know what I'm talking about. He does that. He's awesome at it, guys. I took the class. Uh, myself, Kevin, and, and Elder took that class. We all did well. Um, but Jason's practicing more than we are, and uh, he just got knack for it on top of that. So um, the thing is that uh, he's not worried about throwing it on the ground. Now, I threw, that, I threw my road glide on the ground during the class, too, and that sucked, and I got really pissed. But uh, because I, went out, I, just, I didn't want to do that. I, I, nobody wants to do that, right? But the difference is Jason knows it's a really strong possibility. Like I was talking to him and I was like, man, dude, you are awesome at this. I've seen the videos and I've seen him ride. And I'm like, dude, you are it's amazing. He's like, yeah, dude, I don't record when I throw it on the ground. Smart, got it. Or if he does, he doesn't show it to anybody, right? So what I'm saying, guys, if you're riding a motorcycle, whether you're doing 10 mile an hour in a parking lot and you think it's a great idea to do a burnout, or if you're hauling ass down the freeway and you think it's a solid plan to do a wheelie, never, never is that a solid plan. So if that's what you're doing, stop doing that. But uh, no matter what you're doing, you're on, a, you're on a motorcycle, you're on two wheels. It can go over, right? So be prepared for that. Um, don't be scared of it. Don't take that as the wrong way. Because if you're riding scared, you shouldn't be riding. That's that's just that. Um, but you know, it's always it's never off the table, right? So be prepared for that. You know, head on a swivel. 
drive defensively, all the things that they teach you in all these classes that we've all taken, hopefully you've taken. If you haven't, if you're out there and you're riding and you've never taken one of these classes, go to your local dealer, your Harley dealers, or wherever, you know, um, if you're in the military, you gotta take that stuff. But uh, that's where I took all these classes with the military. And I learned a lot of lessons, guys. I was in an accident when I was in my 20s, me being an idiot at real high speeds. And I walked away because I took that class and I knew how to, I knew how to fall, I guess. <laughs> Textbook falls, what I was told at that, that crash site. And uh, Jeff and Joe and them guys said the same thing about this. Like, well, we saw what you did. You were doing everything uh, until you weren't, right? So, <laughs> but uh, I was able to miss everything, so I'm super happy about that. Um, I'll lick my wounds and take care of my stuff. But, uh, you know, you know, not, you know, for me anyways, I ain't 22 no more. And, uh, well, fixing this is probably a little more expensive than that $500 Ninja I crashed back then. So be careful out there, guys. Ride safe. If you're not riding, look out for people riding. And, uh, well... Just goes to show you, no matter how, how old you are, you might do some dumb shit. Thanks for watching, guys.